Okay, we're here with actor Robert Prako, who not only is a actor by trade, but also teaches acting. Why don't you talk a little bit about your background when you wanted to become an actor, and then talk about what made you transition into teaching, as sure. well as still acting. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, you know, it's funny, I was pretty shy as a kid, so I really didn't get into acting till later in college. I was uh, studying TV film production at the University of Georgia. And um, I started taking a minor in drama, sort of under the auspices of wanting to work with actors if I was going to make videos or films or whatever mm -hmm. at that point. And uh, I just really dug it. But when I was younger, my father's an actor and um, went to NYU and, you know, he moved to L.A. when I was younger. So I'd go visit him. And like all single actor fathers, I got dragged to his acting classes, you know, uh, against my will. And uh, fortunately, he studied with a really great teacher named Joyce Davis Smith. Who always incorporated me into stuff, whether I wanted to or not, and um, just made it kind of fun. And I, uh, I probably caught the bug then, not mm -hmm. realizing. She told me I was going to be an actor before I ever said I'm going to be an actor. She said you're going to be an actor, and I said you're a crazy old bird. I'm not even an actor. Um, but yeah, after I graduated college, I realized that I really enjoyed the process, and I started studying with a teacher in Atlanta, uh, a lady named Sandra Dorsey, who still teaches to this day. So and you're you've been Georgia-based your whole life then. And, and yeah, I, mean, I moved to New York uh, mid '90s. Okay. And I studied at, uh, at uh, what the hell did I study? I studied with a couple of teachers up there. Yeah. Um, and um, and that was fun. I was there about nine months, and then I moved to LA um, because I had friends in LA who had projects. Ah. <laughs> and so I moved out to work on those to work on those projects, and uh, asked me how many of those projects get off the ground. Me, oh, but that's even, the norm. Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah. but I was. You know, I moved out there and again. I started. It was nice as I started studying with the same teacher my dad studied with, Joyce Davis Smith, and um, so that was neat. So no regrets. It was just you know that happens. Yeah. And uh, it's just it's a journey. It's a long, fun journey. So it took me out there for a couple of years, and I studied and I, uh, you know, beat the path a little bit. Got beaten up a little bit, but it's mm -hmm. what you do. It was. Uh, then I came back to Georgia late '90s to kind of refuel my jets a little bit. I just wanted to work, and I just started working. You know, and uh, the market had grown a little bit. And uh, I got to work, and whether it was corporate or commercial or theater or you know TV or film, I got to work a little bit, and it was nice. And I got to grow and, and grow your resume, and the opportunities were, were plentiful. You know, I got a lot of opportunities. Whether you take advantage of those opportunities, mm -hmm. you know, it's another story. But you know, it's a luck. Like I said, it's a long journey, and you continue to grow. And uh, you know, over the years, you know, as I was kind of honing my craft, or working my craft, which I continue to do to this day. You know, I sort of, I sort of realized I was coaching some friends, and I really enjoyed doing it. And I seemed to, I seemed to be helpful. You know, worst case scenario, I was, I was helpful, and pretty specific with the way I work. And I think they liked that. And you know, I was coaching two or three people, and two or three people became five or six, and and all of a sudden it became a class. And uh, actually, what happened? I was at an audition uh, with a woman, a wonderful woman here in town named Shay Griffin, mm -hmm. who was well known as a casting director and a producer. And, sort of a liaison to the state of Georgia all over the world. And, um, and one of the handlers of the very wonderful, powerful tax incentive here in town. And she's one of the guardians of it and helped craft it. I was at an audition with her and we were talking and she told me, she'd warned me what was about to happen, how the world was about to come crashing down on Georgia with work. And she was concerned that maybe the talent pool wasn't quite deep enough to handle what was coming and we needed more teachers and good teachers. And that was sort of the... Uh, to push off the ledge I needed to just start teaching more. I enjoyed it. It was something I wasn't anticipating. I just really enjoyed working the craft with other people. And mm -hmm. you know, as an actor, it's my job to work the craft as much as I can. So if I was, I'd be doing it at home anyway. Why not do it with 10 or 12 people in a room who wanted to come and work? And that's sort of how it started. Now, would you integrate your other jobs that were not acting jobs that could help somebody who would be uh, trying to get Further in acting, like did any of your other jobs further what you could do personally? What do you mean other jobs? Didn't you say you were in corporate for a little while? Did oh no, corporate videos. Oh, I'm corporate sorry. videos. Yeah, corporate I'm videos. Sorry, like, I it was just a uh, in Atlanta for a long time I mean, until this day. It, it's a big corporate video market. So okay. it's at Home Depot or IBM back in the day, or who have Dalton Carpets is always in-house videos, which was a great, a great training ground for actors just to work the craft. Okay. It was not broadcast, so nobody would see it, but it was a great way to get in front of camera mm -hmm. and work script, you know, and it paid fairly well. So if you can get into that arena, you can work the script and stay pretty busy, pay your bills, and so 
again, it was just working the craft. So whether it was corporate or industrial, excuse me, um, commercial, TV, film, theater, you, mm -hmm. you know, again, it was just working script and the craft, and it was just, uh, it was great. I was getting an opportunity to, to work the craft a lot. And what I wasn't teaching filled in those time frames, because as long as I was working the craft in some way or another, those creative juices were being, you know, stimulated, which was nice. And now it's been about at least three years since I've known you, and you've mm -hmm. banged out a number of projects, number of movies. Um, what does that feel like, and did being on the Vampire Diaries help? In oh, that God, or? yeah, God almighty. Just, uh, you know, just being associated with it, mm -hmm. you know, certainly on a lower budget way, you know, just having those credits and getting to work with those people, you know, you know got me got me to work in quite a few, you know, SAG ultra low budget films or low budget films just have been associated with it, which helped me to work the craft and uh, kept me pretty busy for a while. And the exposure being on it probably led to a whole new fan base that will follow you where you're Sure, going. you know, absolutely. You know, it's, a, it's connected me with wonderful people all over the world who, you know, always seem to be interested in what's going on, mm -hmm. in, you know, what films, regardless of the budget, what films we're working on or if we're producing something or what I'm up to and uh, interested in the craft, mm -hmm. you know, just as important to me, people who who really want to study acting, who don't know where to go. It's given me an opportunity to kind of touch base with people all over the world, you know, just looking for maybe advice mm -hmm. on, a, on how to get involved, not to get scammed. You know, I just had a conversation. I just taught a workshop here, and we're at Icon right now, uh, 2013 at the Sheridan Hotel in Atlanta, and uh, they're always nice enough to ask me back. I do a sort of a little acting class workshop, and um, a, a, about 15, 20 people there, but a, a kid was there with his mom from... Uh, just south of Huntsville, Alabama, mm -hmm. and you know he had one of those nightmare stories. He's 15, and you know there are a lot of pariahs who take advantage of people's dreams and you know their hopes and offer the world. We're going to put you in front of Disney executives. We're going to teach you how to be an actor. Blah 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 blah. blah. And, and they you know they take your money and they move on. And it's mm -hmm. uh, and it happens. And they weren't the first, and they're not going to be the last people to get taken advantage of that. But if if I can kind of plug that hole and say, what? Well, not again. Mm -hmm. Don't do it again. Just contact me on Facebook. Let me know what people are saying, and I can tell you yes or no. You know, this is the way it works or doesn't. You know, there's no one way or another to become an actor necessarily. You want to work the craft. You want to work hard. Mm -hmm. You know, if I can help anybody avoid being taken advantage of, that's that makes me feel pretty good. Yeah. And if I can help them get better at the craft, even you know microscopically, that that makes me feel good too. And in terms of feeling good, it must make you also feel good that people actually respect you enough for your opinion and, you know, go to you for it. Yes, I fooled them all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, that, that, yeah obviously, that, that, feels, that feels great. And a lot of that is just being associated with Vampire Diaries, whatever, wherever I am in my craft or what you think of the work, you know, just being, you know, not good being associated or having been associated with the show it, that is held in such high esteem by, by this fan base. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been very fortunate. Good, good lord i mean you know you never know you know when i when i was hired to play the part i thought it was one episode i wasn't really familiar with the lore of it and it turned into i think eight episodes yeah season one i mean that's just they, so se six seven episodes was icing on the cake yeah you, they you should know? have brought you back when they killed your wife off but oh yeah they yeah, didn't yeah. do it we're happy together in hell yeah her and i yes. <laughs> Mr. mrs lockwood are now happy in hell <laughs> causing havoc that's killing funny. people yes um but yeah it's been great yeah it's been a nice run and uh you know, right now we're just, I'm here in Atlanta, the tax incentive is wonderful, I'm getting opportunities. Uh, but you teach other places though, don't you? Go I to do New workshops. York and teach, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was out in LA for two months, so uh -huh. I went out there um, July, August, and September to, just to kind of beat the path a little bit and take some meetings, but I rented a space out there and I thought, yeah, let me try it out here, and uh, it went very well, it was nice. Good. Y you know, the craft is the craft, and uh, you don't need a whole lot of room to teach acting, you know, a couple of chairs and a... A light, yeah, good to 12 go. bucks an hour. In yeah, Manhattan. so, yeah, you, you know, Knockwood with Facebook, you know, I was able just to kind of maintain the same class page mm -hmm. and say, oh, I'm in LA for, you know, for a couple months. Anybody want to come work? And it and it, it just seemed to go well. It seemed to people seem to respond to it. It seemed to be well received. And, mm -hmm. and what's great, I'm out there, I can study with teachers I want to study with. And the days I don't, I can teach. And it's a, it's a never ending process. You never graduate from acting. You never right. go, I oh, know it all. Good, I'm now. done. Yeah, now. Yeah, you know, it's a non stop honing of the craft and learning and taking from different people. and you know, and that great thing is it's it's a wonderful craft. It's fun to it's fun to work. So, you know, the day I stop enjoying learning and teaching and working the script is the day I'll just 
stop, I guess. Yeah, and now you mentioned your Facebook. That is one of the things that really impresses me is that you are on your Facebook page. It's not somebody doing it for you. And you gotta be big to have somebody doing it for you. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> you gotta got be important. Saying, like you're really personable on your Facebook page. You talk yeah. about your personal things, and you you let people know when you're gonna do acting workshops in yeah. different. You know, it's just me. It's not, a, it's, it's not yeah. a school. It's just my class and I just, you know, I have a space and if I'm traveling, if I'm going somewhere, I say, hey, I'm going to be in Anderson, South Carolina for, uh, you know, for a week. I'm like a pro wrestler, whether it's in Anderson, South Carolina, Bacon, Georgia. Yeah. You know, I just, we have a space and we'll, we'll set up shop and just teach a day or two days depending on, you know, what people want. And that could be invaluable to somebody. You have no idea what your words could do for them in terms of their career or just the advice you give. I hope so. I hope so. You know, I, I hope we make it clear. I hope I make it clear, and I hope it's specific enough. And I hope we don't over try to spread things too thin. We work a couple of specific techniques mm -hmm. I like to work on, and uh, you know that I've been able to learn over the years from many different teachers. And uh, yeah, I hope you can give back. You know, it's you know, we can keep the price down to a dull minimum because a lot of actors don't have money. You know, what is this? It's five percent of the people make ninety-five percent of the money. Of the money, yeah. So it's you know the people who want to learn, they want to study, and I want to work the craft and. If my class goes eight hours, it's eight hours of me working script with somebody, for a bunch of people, and it selfishly it helps keep me working the muscle as well. So wherever it is, it doesn't matter. Again, it doesn't matter where in the country, where in the world it is. It's just yeah. the craft is the craft. There's actors everywhere. Yeah, exactly. Which is great, you know, and uh, and some actors are even good people. It's nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. Speaking um, of yourself, of course. Nah. <laughs> I'm evil. Yeah. Uh, you saw that on TV. I'm in hell right now with my wife. Well, Rob, thank you so much for doing this interview. You've given back to a lot of people, so you should be very proud of that. I appreciate it. And, uh, you know, we look forward to hearing what's next for you. And for well, I'll be real quick before we go, we have a couple of low-budget films coming out that we've been working on and producing over the last couple of years. There's a film coming out that's actually already in the hands of the distributors, mm -hmm. uh, and I believe has a uh, domestic DVD release called Remnants. Okay. Post-apocalyptic stories, sun flares, power goes out on the planet, very revolution-esque, and, uh, and uh, we're in that. And um, that's coming out pretty soon. And there's the actual screening of that in Atlanta uh, this November, 2013. Nice. And then our zombie movie, A Zombie Invasion, which is now old enough to play Little League. That's how long we've been working on it, A Zombie Invasion. <laughs> and, uh, you that, were 25 that, when that, you started right. filming and if that. if you see the movie, it's going to be like, did he, is that his brother? Wait, is that Mayor Lockwood from Vampire Diaries? Is that Mayor Lockwood's son? Um, <laughs> yeah, the so that's coming out, and we're having a lot of fun with that, and that's almost done. And now uh, we're just, uh, it's a fun job. We're lucky to be a part of it. Anybody who's involved is lucky to be a part of it. I mean, the craft in general. I don't mean with us. Sometimes it's a lucky being with us. Um, <laughs> um, but there's a lot going on, and uh, yeah. Perfect. You know, we're having a great time. We Thanks will link for... up the movies to this video. Do it. Interview. Link it. Best of luck to you. Thanks, Thanks so much guys. for Appreciate sitting down with us. Awesome.